Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. I'm Mr. TIG. You know, we're doing a series of, of brazing alloys. When I say brazing, I don't mean torch brazing. I mean using the TIG torch, and we sometimes call it Healy brazing. Well, today's segment is how do you braze copper to copper? And copper in itself is uh, sometimes pretty tough to weld, but we're not going to weld, we're going to braze. And I'm going to use silicon bronze as part of this. Now, one of the things I want to mention is that I'm doing a lap weld, and uh, th the strength of this particular weld is pretty decent, but I don't want you to put it into a full strength design. Again, brazing doesn't give you full strength uh, hardly ever. So just make sure that you're not putting this into a critical situation. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tack weld this at one end. I'm going to come back and tack weld it at the other. Again, I'm using silicon bronze. It's 1 16th diameter. It kind of fits this the best. You can get this in different diameters. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, tack weld, and then I'm going to weld all the way across. And what you're going to see is there's going to be an awful lot of oxide that forms on here. And that's just, again, the nature of the beast of copper, and you're going to have to clean it off. I'm going to use argon gas. I'm running, uh, again, this large jumbo gas lens just so you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and put my gear on, and uh, we'll show you the weld. Okay. Okay, I'm using uh, argon gas again. I'm, um, I'm welding this. This is copper to copper. And the heat will build up fairly rapidly on this. So you got to make sure that uh, you have the ability to back off amperage when you need to. Yeah, so I'm just nabbing nice, steady speed. And uh, it's Sweating out very nicely. I'm only using about 80 to 90 amps on this, maybe 100 tops. As I get to the end, the heat will try to build up a little bit more. And so I have to back off with my foot control. And you can see that it's, uh, it's doing a nice job. Okay, now that I've uh, finished brazing this, I, I went ahead and wire brushed it. It's still pretty hot, but uh, there are an awful lot of oxides on here, and you just got to keep uh, keep working it. You can get them off. You get a power wire brush, and you get this pretty shiny and, and nice looking, nice looking copper all over again. Uh, if you want more information on this, uh, go to weld.com or take a look at the show notes. Thanks for watching Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig.